know there are some people who are experts in praying. They can even pray me when the wind is blowing. They are experts on praying. They have never started to blame people. It's men who are discouraged. They have taken the stones. And they say we want to kill him. Now they were together in the bathroom. David did not connect with them, those who took their wives and their children. But now they say. Let us stone him. The moment you find people are preparing to stone you, that time is the time you can sing God. The time they started stoning this man of God called Stephen. The moment they think they are killing Stephen, that's the time when the heaven was open. There are stones which make your heaven to be open. There are things you don't see. Until your enemies come. When they come in, they ask you to see the greatness of the Lord. So you don't have to keep on complaining whatever you see, you see the devil. By the way, you are not dealing with the devil, you are dealing with God. And devil, and devil never said I will be with you until the end of the ages. Jesus said I will be with you. Don't see devil more than Jesus. Whatever you see, don't see the devil. Why do we see the devil always? It is because we are not used to know that whatever that comes your way, if you are the son of God, it has to be around by your father. And that's why the Bible says, for we know all things from good. All things work out for good. Even when they are stoning you, all things work out for good. Even in that problem you have today, see the goodness of the Lord. So they have said that a stoning. But in David, decided, let me go to God. And I want to say to you and to, to, you and to me, let us go to God. Your, your wife is not behaving like a wife. Don't complain. Go to God. Some of us, we are very quick to say, God, what did I marry now? What kind of this thing you give me? You don't even call a, a wife. What kind of this thing you give me? It is a trouble. It is a don't talk like that. When you see your wife misbehaving, go to God. When you see your husband becoming like another lion, he is untamable. Untamable. You can't tame him. Okay, he's uncontrollable. But I want to tell you if you see as uncontrollable, take him to the control technique. Amen, amen. When you take him there, the Holy Spirit will work on him. That God who created him. He can work on him. Now instead of complaining and talking, you know, sometime, and it is I love you, you are good, but when you see your husband misbehaving, don't go talking to everybody. Talk to God. If he came from God, God can change him. People don't change people. People are changed by the one who created them. That is Jehovah God. And that's why you see some ladies, they say, all men are bad. Who said all men? How many men did you have so that you can know all men are bad? When you say all men are bad, you are the one who is bad because you are like the Samaritan woman, you are dealing with all men. 
Niba uvuze ngo abagabo bose ni babi ni wowe mubi umeze nk'umugore wa Samaria kazi ufata abagabo bose All men are not bad Abagabo bose nako ari babi They are good men Hari abagabo beza Hallelujah Amen And I'm no I know me and Jonathan we are good men Abizi nje na Jonathan turi mu bagabo beza Amen Amen And Pastor Rufus is our missionary is a good man Na Pastor Rufus na ni umugabo mwiza Bana sifi Amen Wewe you're back now umeonekana Amen. God bless you so much. Amen. David went to God. Dawidi aja kuite. He asked God. Aja kuba zima. Can I pursue them? Ese bakuri chile. Can I pursue you? Bakuri chile. And if I pursue them, ese ni bakuri chile. Can I overtake? Zaba fata. He said, pursuing is not a problem. Bakuri chile na bakuri chivas. But don't pursue. Ali kono zaba bakuri. And you God has told you. Kujaza zima ni kuba zima. Bakuri chile bakuri bakuri chile. Because the race is not for the swift. This race is not for them those who are very swift. It is for them those who can inquire. They even inquired. Can I pursue them? Can I overtake them? And God answered. When you go to inquire from God, God will not keep quiet. I've come to talk about God. Who talks? Who answers? Who has an answer? Go and tell David. Because you've come to me, I want to tell you what you, what you can do. In the midst of those crises, God can tell you what to do. The problem is we don't listen to God so that he can give us the system because systems are not from God. God makes systems so that we follow them. God does not make systems so that he can follow them. Systems are not supposed to be followed by God. We are the ones who follow the system. You ask me about pursuing and overtaking. But I want to tell you, follow them, you shall, you, or rather pursue them, you are going to overtake them. And more than overtaking them. Because what you require is not only overtaking. Overtaking does not mean a road. Anybody can overtake you. Even Penina overtook uh, what is name? Hannah. Now where do you connect Penina and Sarah. Okay. Somebody has told me of Sarah, but uh, it all depends with the revelation. Haga is the one who overtook Sarah. Hagar, you remember? Hag got the child like this. Because what is not in the promise, you can get it even when you are sleeping. But anything which is connected to the promise, anything which is from God, it requires you to. Don't run more than God. So Penina, Penina overtook Hannah. Hannah inquired. You see, Hannah also did it. Hannah went to God. And God performed a miracle. Now, what I want to say is this. God told David pursue them you are going to overtake them and more than that you are going to recover and that's what I've said our month of June is a month of recovery whatever which is supposed to be yours it is some be yours not because I'm preaching but because God said the one who said it he is a faithful God he is a promise keeper he has never lied he cannot lie he is not a son of man he is not even a man that he can lie he is God so prepare for recovery hallelujah but for you to recover there are principles Amen. I realized the other day. Amen. I realized the other day. Amen. And there is a friend of mine. He is working in a certain bank, one of the big banks in Rwanda. Amen. You are going to greet.
left us after this. You know what happened? How I knew him is he the one in I think this back. So I'm supposed to have uh, this online services. So I was given the password. You know they give password, sign in, sign out. So many things. Harumu sore uranga ha arazatuzi torero akora muri banke nungu IT torero bidangwa shaka kore sha services za internet wapa password ni bidi bidi. So he did it. I want them to know I can do online things for the company. Yara because na shaka kujira services za online. I tried to get it. I was not able to get it to understand how they are done. So I had to call. Najera jeshi kubi koravi na niyenda mu amaga. So he told me how to put the name which I like. There is, you know, the name, the name of signing. You know, there is like the what do you call it? You put something which you want to be used like uh, you are referring to it always. You know, you can give an animal, or there is something else like now you can say I love Jesus, I'm a son of God. You can write anything, or you can say I love Bob Marley because them those who love Bob Marley can write that. No, no, kufu ango. Ufati chini, ukunda kukuwe shambuli mosi, chagua ngo kunda Yesu, kundi mana, chagua sisi kunda pombe mareni ba kuwa kwa ukunda. Chini ubeni. So what I wrote, nero icho na jitsi, iso, yara chibo, because it's change of ID. Kwa yara kwenye numu ID. Then when I come to my office to teach me, hani ma aja mu office kuniya. He started asking me, tajira kumbali. But is that? The things you wrote in your ID, if you want it, sahanga ha, they told me you are some. Jamu yako haru. You are born again. Kuchishishu. So we started from. That's why he's here today. New man, very happy your days. If I said I love Kenya, just a whole nation go munda Kenya. You would have known I'm a Kenya. But there are things I wrote there. Ari ko haribu na ndi semo hari. Which gave my identity. Ari ko jaga gara kashu ondi. And that made him to come and ask me eh, the way he wrote it there. There is something. At that time, we started fellowshiping. He came to my office not one time, several times. And I told him to come to the church. And actually, and from Cotton to Western, he told me, give me a number of someone who can direct me to come to the church. Hallelujah. We are happy to see you. Name is Mugisha. The other name I try to pronounce it, I'm not able to pronounce. I know Mugisha because Mugisha is always a miracle. So, Amen. Mugisha is a miracle. Mugisha is a miracle. All blessing. So today we have somebody who is called blessing now in, in this house. Amen. Amen. Wow. God is good. It's going to. Okay. We thank God. Now, for us to be able to recover. There are things we need to consider. How to understand? On Wednesday we started talking about giving. Giving is a topic which cannot be exhausted just during the Sunday service. You know, someone. But uh, let me touch the things. Them those who come on Wednesday. And also on Friday, we shall continue. That means them those who are on a Sunday, Sunday, on a one day believers, you are going to miss a lot. I want to encourage you to come on Wednesday and also on Friday. Now, I want to talk on a topic we want to use against the devourers. And the Shakuvuka Kuri Sija, if you can go in one or so Kukoresha to Hana Indian. Devourer is a destroyer or a consumer or a eater. Indian in the Chiruchiza, Chisha Kuri, Buracha was a Chisha Kudja Ijawi. Or someone or an entity that comes purposely to eat or to destroy. Chawa Chinu Runaka, Mumun Runaka, Uje Asha Kuri Bura. Devourer. But when we know there is an eater, and I said, talk the things I'm talking, I know very well there are people here in this congregation. You see things happening in your life, and you don't understand very well what is happening. 
you try to move ahead uragerageza kujimbere you find there is something which is like a rope ugasanga hari kintu kimeze nk'umugozi you see the time of thanking god igihe cyo gushima imana and you are ready to thank god witegwe gushima imana something happens akaba bikintu the next and that which you are to thank god for is taken away kugira ngo you find your life has never been a life which is going ahead the time you think you are progressing you find there is something pulling you back and it comes when you are not aware and that time you are rejoicing it's the time you find yourself wondering what did I do wrong so we have to understand the weapon that we can use so that we can overcome the devourer one thing we need to understand it is that in this life there will be a time when you find things which happen which are beyond your understanding right in this place there are some people who cannot clearly tell us what is happening you look at things you find there is something which comes to eat or to destroy because devourer does not do for does not come for anything else he comes so that he can destroy or he comes so that he can make you to be there you are there but you are not there so to know that angry there is a devourer so to know that angry there is a devourer the Bible in the book of John chapter 10 verse 10 the Bible says that the thief comes but to steal kill and destroy so the thief who comes to steal he is a killer he is also a destroyer and until you understand how to handle that thief you may remain there taking it like a normal thing thinking things the way they are happening it might be okay but you don't know that there are traces of the one who comes to steal, kill and destroy you try to connect things but you find they are not working Sometimes you look at your family and you see the children. The time you think they are working very well. Uh, have you seen sometimes the children are doing the exams and uh, these um, exams of the midterm they do very well. But when we come to the final one, which takes them from one, one class to another class, that child does very bad. During the midterm, middle of the term, midterm exams, they understand that the exams you do before you cross. These midterms, exams, the child will perform very well, can be among the best in the middle of the term but the exams which matter the ones to take the child from one level to another level the child won't be among the last and you start to wonder what is happening the same child the same class the same student but he was able to perform very well during the middle of the term but now at the end of the term he is a good number from the rest and you wonder what has happened or sometimes the child is very good at, 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 during the day but at night find, is this the same child you don't understand what is happening 
Some other times you even go to the doctor. I know there are people here. If you if you even gone to the doctor to check on you and the doctor tells you everything is okay but you yourself you are sick. Ah uko kuvura rwaye wajya kwa muganga mugakabwa ngo ndabona buri kintu cyose kimeze neza. Sometimes doctor will even try to tell you I think it's malaria. Ah rimwe na rimwe doctor avuga ngo menya ari malaria. Then give you medicines for malaria. Akaguha ibinini bya malaria. From there you go you find the medicines are not working. You go to another malaria. doctor. Tell you it's not malaria, it's typhoid. You start taking the medicine for typhoid. You find it's not typhoid this time. Medicines are not working. Another time you go. And they say you are brand. As a problem. Brand infection. And they check on the brand. It has infection. Within no time, it was not brand infection. So what is happening? Those are traces of the devourer. All you start a business today, you find the business is working properly. But something happens. The time you've seen now on Sunday, I'll stand in the church with thanksgiving. Before the thanksgiving, something strikes and you find yourself as if you are negative. You wonder what is happening. Those are symptoms of a devourer, a destroyer, working silently. Sometimes the devourer may not attack you directly. He can attack the things around you. Like Reuben was not directly attacked. He has come from the patrol. And he would say victory. We have the victory. But within no time, he started crying with his army. Himself was not affected. But indirectly, what concerns him was, was affected. And that's why the right of the psalm says, God will perfect that which concerns you. Yeah. Even yeah. that which concerns you soon be perfected. It's not only you. That which concerns you, that is your neighbors, that is your relatives, that is your children, anything that concerns you, soon be perfected. The devourer can come and attack you through the weak areas. It looks at weak points. And he attacks there. You know many times we don't pray for the weak things. We don't concentrate on the weak points. We want to concentrate on those big things. But now the enemy can come to the small things. Which you ignore. You know, but you find it's a thief. It's a way we normally say you are you are fetching water. And you're putting it through the sieve. The sieve. And so you find the water will go through. And then you fetch the water again. It goes through. That's the work of the devil. He, who is the devourer? Can make you to rotate in one thing. But I want to tell you there is a weapon. Hallelujah. Amen. So that you can be able to overcome the devourer. I want to talk about one of the weapons being our giving. Giving. It's a topic when you put in the church, a lot of people say that's not the right topic because it is not going to bring revival. We want the things which will bring revival. Because there are some people who talk about giving in the church and their mind, their heart switches off. Pastor, Pastor, this is not the top topic to talk. Talk about blessings. Tell us how God is going to lift us. But let me tell you, when God has lifted you, when God has blessed you, you need to understand there is a way, there is a formula. There are methods. 
méthode. Which ordained by God. So that when you follow them, you shall get the blessings of God. Amen. The problem when we talk about giving actually is the time when many of you can sleep. Check around, you see your friend sleeping because now the pastor talk about the anointing. How do we talk about giving instead of anointing? How do you sleep? You never came for the Kesha and you are sleeping. And the people came for the Kesha and not sleeping. Because the people were sleeping. But not for you to give. You have to understand this thing we call giving. What exactly is giving? Because if you don't understand, you'll be able to do things and approve for yourself. The moment you don't understand what is giving, you may do the wrong or uh, the right thing, but the wrong way. The right thing, you are doing it the wrong way. When you don't understand, uh, one of the things we need to understand it is that our giving proves how we love God. God was the first giver. He gave the best. How did he give? He took his son Jesus. Who was required in heaven. But he had to remove him from heaven. So that he can come here as a gift. So God loved you. That is John chapter 3, verse 16. Oh God so loved the world. He loved the world. So that when He gives, after giving, you can be able to come from the world and get a title to them, those who received Him. He gave them the power to become the sons of God. When you receive the gift of God, you change from being the wandering person. You are not just a person. You are not a you are not just a uh, people. You are a son of God. Then those who received Jesus, they were given power. They became the sons of God. And so the sons of God must be like their father. You are a son of God because the father gave. You become like the father when you give. Sons of God give. Are we here? If you are writing down, can you write that one down? The Father gave. And because the Father gave, I became the son of the Father. And because I'm the son of the Father, I have to be like the Father. The Father is a giver. So I must also give. Giving proves that you love. There's some husbands, of course not in this church, maybe in another church, who tell their wives, I just love you, I feel you, with only the mouth, the true love is not through the mouth, it is through what you release, mouth can say anything, God did not only tell you I love you. He gave. And that's where you can see the love of the Father. When you become a giver, you are giving. Talks about how you trust the Father and how you resemble the Father. You are giving that's what. It gives a proof. 
kugaragaza how you love God and how you trust in God. One of the things which makes us not to give it is because we don't have faith in God. Amen. 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 The moment you trust in God, you not feel like when I give. It's like I'm not going to live. There are types of giving. And uh, those are things which I'll be talking about. One of them being when you give so that God takes over to act on your behalf. The topic of tithing is a very deep topic. Until now, these days, there are people because they don't want to give, they come with excuses. We don't see Jesus telling us to tithe. Some people say tithing is not in the New Testament. Other people say the grace of God is enough. The grace of God is enough to make you to do what God has told you to do. We cannot remove the book of Malachi chapter 3 from the Bible. And when we introduce this church to everybody, I hear people saying we are new life in Jesus. And we believe the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. I normally hear that. We baptize people with much water. And everybody, when they are reading the service, we preach the Bible. We believe in the Bible. From Genesis to Revelation. Is that true? Is that true? With or without the book of Marakai? But the book of Maraki, now you talk to me with your eyes. You don't talk with your mouth. <laughs> now you are just looking at me. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. The book of is there. What does it say about the tithing? The moment you don't pay your tithe, God calls you what? What? Roper. And the other day I told you it's better to meet with a thief than a robber. A robber will take what you have and on top it. of that destroy you. But a thief can take what you have and that's it. And that's why I said the other day you have to be very careful if you are coming here to worship and you don't worship God with your substance. Because the true worship is not when you come here and you lift up your hands. The true worship is not even singing. Worship is very deep. So if you are here and you lift up your hands, God, I love you. God, I, and anybody can say, God, I love you. Anybody can say, God, I love you. But the things we do so that God can trust us. God loves everybody. But God trusts very few people. God can have us all in this church. But not everybody can be trusted by God. The more you prove to God you love Him, not to people but to God, you are giving soon be time to God. As you give seeing God, are we here? As you give, you see who? God. You are doing it from God. The problem we have I want to prove to people. So I told you the other day. Ananias. Anania. What then also to say he can give? Because Joseph, the one called 
the son of encouragement he has given he has shown this piece of land brought this, the finances to the to the disciples feet he brought it to the apostles feet and Ananias saw it and Ananias decided I can also give you don't give because other people are giving you give because you have a revelation of who God is to you when you understand who God is he is the provider he is the protector he can stand with you even in the hour of darkness when you are giving down and queer from people you do it unto God when you give you down go magnify yourself giving soon be a secret you know it and you know it a rule and then I was decided I want to go and also sow I can do it and he brought what he had is this all you have? I have everything he died on the spot when you don't give right you can die on the spot maybe there we are seeing you but you never know you have you are died in the things of the spirit it is important for you to love this God who loved you and prove to him that I love you by the way you give Abraham was tested by God this is your son go and over him sacrifice him and Abraham had to go and I'm happy because he never asked the wife what do you think we should do because every man knows his wife. Amen. Abraham knew Sarah. If you start discussing on this, I'm not going to obey God. And so what did he do? Let me go because I obey God. And he went to sacrifice the son Isaac. And that's the time we see God coming to prove to Abraham that you cannot outgive God. Now, when you trust in God, you don't look at if I give, I'm going to be finished. When you are giving, you don't look at what will happen to you. You look at God seeing your faithfulness. You are not giving to bribe God. By the way, you are not giving so that you can bribe God. You are giving because you are obeying God. And in the process of, pay, of obeying God, God comes in his own way. And always remember, it is the motive that determines the harvest. It is what the motive that determines what? The harvest. If your motive is good, if your motive, motive is right, there will be an harvest. And the Bible is encouraging us. Even then, those who say they don't have, you can go beyond saying I don't have. We have some people who think me, I can make it. I'm poor. I am poor. God, you know I'm poor. Now, the moment you say you are poor, and God knows you are poor, and He says, let the weak say they are strong, let the poor say they are rich. How do you say you are rich? It is when you refuse. That time you say you don't have. That which you don't have, you take it, and you take it to God and tell God, I've come and I'm trusting you. The Bible in the book of Luke chapter 4 verse 38 Jesus said Give and it will be given to your to it will be given to you 
Good measure. Good measure. Into be given to you. Good measure. Press it down. Shaken together. And running over. We will be put into a bosom. Luke chapter 6 verse 38. Aravuga ngo mutange namwe muzahabwa urugero rwiza rutsinda giye rucugushije rusesekaye nirwo muzagererwamo Fortes same measure that you use it can be measured to you kuko urugero mugeramo ari rwo muzagererwamo So the measure there urugero is determined by what you give rugaragaza ibyo rugaragazwa nibyo utanga I pray for each one of us such that we shall be able to mature to a level of pie. We shall see God being faithful. We shall not be complaining. I don't have. So Jesus said, Give and it shall be given back to you. It will be a good measure. I'm looking forward. For people who understand what is a good measure. It is not just a measure. When you give right, the measure is a good measure. And Jesus also said, after being a good measure, it will be pressed down. Have you ever tried to pack things in a sack? Like a grass. Or flour. When you are packing it, you press it. Because the more you press, the more it will be intact. So it will be a good measure, press it down. And the Bible says, shaken together. Why shaken? The thing which has been given to you, you don't understand when you give. What will be shaken is not you. It is what is being, what is coming back to you. It will be shaken so that it can be intact. Then it will be running over. Listen to me. There is a life we call it the life of running over. Such that wherever you go, you can present about any time. You don't look at your problem. And I believe that is where God would want each one of us to be. A place of running over. After being shaken. After being pressed down. After having the good measure. That is running over. When it is running over, you will be touching people even without your knowledge. In Kenya, there is a small animal we call it Squiro. In this is also Squiro is a small animal which eats with a big tail. With a very big tail. Agasa Munika. Agasa Munika, yes. Now, this animal, it feeds on nuts. nuts. Yeah. Now, but it is good in forgetting. It climbs on top of a tree. It takes a nut. It goes down. Before eating, it says there is always a tomorrow. So before I eat, it digs like a small hole and puts a nut there and goes to look for another one. It will not remember where it planted that, that thing. So it comes with another one. Because it can see the first one, it digs another hole and puts another one. At the end of it, it will go home with only one nut. The other nuts, they are all planted. Within no time, the nuts which were planted, they start coming up. Let me tell you, whenever you go and give and bless somebody and forget, soon there is a tree which you see. 
and you see a tree coming up. You wonder where, where, where did it come from? It's the start which you planted and you forgot. You don't plant and go sing another song of how you are giving. You don't go to the media. You don't go to the media. You don't advertise. I give and I give and give. What you talk about you, it is what you don't germinate. Because any seed planted, it don't germinate. So the animal will have other many trees. Because of that planting and forgetting. We need to be ever like that animal. You plant and don't go singing. Because the time of germination and when the tree comes up, people will know. Read the story of Tabitha. Tapita in the book of Acts of Apostles, chapter 9 from verse 36. Tapita, Tabita, who is a disciple, she is there helping the widow. She is making tunics for them. She keeps on making tunics for the widows. And she was just blessing people with the tunics. A good giver. It's not a greedy person. Because what you have to reach other people. When the Peter is able to do the sewing with the machine, this tunic will go to sew and sew. And that was that. But the time came when the Peter died. And after he died, there are people who say it. We can't remember that and die. Because of what he has been doing for us. We want arm back. And the disciples, two disciples went to look for Peter. And Peter was told to come to Joppa. There is somebody who has died. When Peter came, he never knew what to do. But the windows came. And they told Peter, we want them back. Because without her, we don't have a skirt for next year. We don't have a skirt for June. For me to get undressed, it was through her. Now because she has died, my floor has been disconnected. Please turn to me. The widow's prayer was heard. That is Jokas. And Peter prayed. Now, when nobody had a cup of gango, no cup of fiat, Kamukunda, Kanda, and Okasango, Bavuka, Kutchen, Mujura, Baba Javasana, Imyamba, Yabato, Avango, Ningi, Namba, and Rewa Yikose, Ero Tapita Nibada, and Hagonza, and Nicho Kwambara. Peter prayed. Peter or a sing. Because these people are trying to cry to Peter. Where a common Bible could be that Peter prayed for Dokas, Peter or a sing, a singer, Dorcas Tabita. Dorcas came back to life. Let me tell you, whatever you release can determine whether you are going to be forgotten or you are going to be remembered. Be a person who can touch somebody's life. Hallelujah. One has to be with. Amen. The tapida of this church do what you are supposed to be doing. And Tapita is not only one person. Each one of us, we can touch someone's life. Each one of us, even you, you can touch someone's life. The problem we have is we have is to be given. But you don't understand the Bible says, Blessed is that heart that gives, that 
the one that receives ese nta gusobanukirwa ko biri vuga ngo ahirwa utanga kurusha uhabwa can you tell your neighbor to your neighbor you are not a receiver you are giver gira mugenzi yango ntago uru wakwakira uru wagutanga to your neighbor i'm not a receiver i'm a giver gira mugenzi yango ntago ndo wakwakira ndo wagutanga to your neighbor i'm ready to touch your life gira mugenzi yango niteguye gukora ku buzima bwawe i'm not a receiver ntago nkwiye guhaba i'm a giver nkwiye gutanga i'm talking to you to be there ndimo ndavugana nawe to be people who are waiting for you to touch their lives hari abantu bagutegereje gukora ku buzima bwabo Are you getting me? Ruranyuva. The pillars of new life in Jesus. Bata pita mu new life. Life is not about you. Life, life is about the people you touch. Ubuzima buturuka ku bantu ukoraho. The thing we call success. Icyo twita gutsinda. It is not because of the things we see with you. Ntabwo ari kubera ibyo tukubonana. It is because of the things you make others have. Aho bwa nuko yari ibintu watumye abandi bagira. Let others have through you. Abyo bandi bagize binyuze muri wowe. We are not competing. Ntabwo turi kurwana. With what we have. Ntabwo turi guhana. We are competing with how many types how many lives you are touching. Aho bwa turi kugaragaza umwa nse nibangahe wafashije. I like the widows. Munda babagore. You know the strength of a woman. Rabizi mbaraga z'umugo. Peter knew the strength of a woman that day. Peter era z'imbaraga z'abagore. The strength of a woman. Mbaraga z'abagore. When the windows stood there. Iya bagore bahagaze. Don't Peter. Bakababwira Peter. Come what me. We know. We need them back. Twebwe turamukeneye ahari ari muzima. We need How many people did, died during that time of Tabitha? Many people. How many people came back to life? Not many people. Only one. Your security is in your giving. Are we together? There are people who die and they go. But Tabitha came back. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Are you here? Urahari. Tapita came back. Tapita we yarazu. Why did he come back? Where did he go? Because there are people who said. Where are the people who said? Sometimes he was right. He jarimo si. You see this this place. Urabona iyi kanzu. When I see it. Iyo nyibonye. I remember. Ndamwibwa. But now, ari because he's not there. I don't see another dress. Ntago nzonye. Let her come back. And I tell you ndakubwiza ikempak yarazutse there are things which secure you hari ibintu bizakurinda they become your security bikaba bikaba uburinzi bwawe you are secured by those things ukarindwa ni they are able to speak the time you are not able to speak wowe ibuta bashe kuvuga this lady was not there to say uyu mugore ntabwo yari hari bavuge musengere but the windows hari kwa bavuga wa there to say bari bahari bavuga we want them back turamushaka ko agaruka bana sipiwe Another illustration we see as we come to cross. Urundi rugero tubona tugana ku musozo. It's in the book of Acts Kings. Ruri mu gitabo cy'abamiba mbere. Chapter 9, chapter 17. It's about Elijah. Bivuga kuri Eliya. Amen. Amen. Now what I've just talked talk about the Peter is giving to the needy when you bless the needy. Icyo maze kuvuga kuri Tabitha niyo uhaye abantu bakeneye. The time you give to the needy. Hari cyo cyo guha abantu. There is a time you Tight so that in the house of the Lord there is meat there is food hari gihe utanga icyacu mu kugyango mu nzu y'uwiteka abe ibyo kujya tight is 10% of your income icyacu mini icumi kwijana y'ibyo that's what can make us to replace that right which is not working today ibyo nibyo byatuma tubasha gusimbuza when you say it's not working no bana ritari gukora maybe you have not paid your tight mu kwera kutarishyura icyacu tight you don't give icyacu nako tujye tujitanga turakishyura Ora si viwe. Yes ashi. That right which is not working. Ile atara ridakora. Maybe it's because ukubera hari yuko. There is somebody here. Hano hari umuntu. Who has decided not to pay the tithe. Afasha umanzi ro kutishira cyacu. We need water in this church. Dukeneye amazi hano. Amen. Amen. When you don't pay the your tithe and be no water. Kutishira cyacu mu amazi tuzaba. There is a toilet next to there. Hari toilet iri hari. It uses water. Ukoresha amazi. So when there is no water. What happens to the toilet? Tigenda bite kuri toilet. Eh? Hello? Especially you people who are sitting there. Chana chana what happens to the toilet which is next there? It uses water. We we'll flush with the water. So when there is no water, what will happen? Hello? What happens? It will stink. Now will you be comfortable in the church? What will you say? We don't want that church. What has happened? What has happened? Because 
the storehouse, the house of God, there is no food, so there will be a smell. And then you start saying, that church, they don't know plan, how to plan themselves. But the problem is not planning. The problem that is somebody who is not paying their tithe. How do you feel on a Sunday? When you are sitting here, you are worshiping, you are dancing, you are happy in the middle of the service. Cash power here. What do you say? No, tell me, what do you say? Huh? You blame the leaders? Starting with the pastor. Now, are you not like the, the man of all of Devon who started stoning Devon because he was the leader? Because sometimes we come here the time of the word. You know there is that sound of cast power. The moment you are trying to preach, it is a tea. I'm angry. Tea. Feed me. Tea. Put money. Me, I hear it when I'm here. I'm wondering the people who are sitting there. Because it is I'm angry. Feed me. Those are things we do when we have the food in the storehouse. There are people who work here. There is security here. Are we together? So when you don't pay your tithe, because there is a difference between paying tithe. Tithe is a different thing from the offering. Tithe is different from the normal offering. Normal offering is a way of saying, God, I thank you. Offering you give. But the tithe, you are directed that 10%. Calculated well. Take to the house of the Lord. Take it to the house of the Lord. And if, I, if you find yourself, you are getting a proper and paying tithe. I wonder how you can give your heart. To God. God, I love you so much. And that's why I told you the other day, you sisters, you uncle who are not married, before you accept that person, don't even ask him where he works from. Ask him, do you tithe? If that person does not tithe, you can get married to him, but even if I join you here, I will be joining you with a rope. And Wives who are married, you have asked if your husband has not paid tithe, you are in problems. You husbands who are married, your wife does not pay the tithe. You have a problem in the house. Because that person can be a dangerous person. And even then, those who are supposed to be counting the tithe and the offering here, you don't qualify to count the offering if you don't pay the tithe. Together, even with the interpreters, if you don't pay the tithe and you are interpreting, how can you interpret? How? How? Tell me how. How? You don't pay the tithe and you are interpreting. And even you can go to Atis stand up with the envelope and pray for you. How do you pray for people? You don't pay and you are praying for them. How? Some, some things are wonders of the world. Hello? Amen. Amen. I can see the church is quiet. 
but now when you are quite like this, I told you when you are eating, you don't talk. <laughs> now I know something is entering. Can you talk to me? Tie the ten percent of your income. It belongs to who? It should be Christian. I have been Jesus. I have been Take an envelope. There are also envelopes here for your time. Fat envelope. I'm envelope. I'm around. Carry several. You just carry envelope. The moment you feel like you are going to eat, put an envelope. Put it in an envelope. And you see it, Kapisa. Are we together? Put it in an envelope, and then you know this. You know the good thing with the envelope. You can see it. Yeah, see it. Even if it does not have enough come, add it somewhere. That you can close it very well. Are you getting me? Impossible. I did it in the middle of your Bible. So that on Wednesday, when you reach in the church, the first thing you say, God, I finished with you. Now me, I have around you now to go and invite you to the devourer. The work of fighting you in the devourer is not your work. Your work is to obey. Then God takes over to fight you the devourer. What is your work? You when you obey, you fight to the devourer. God, because devil, he knows all the tricks. But when you are saying God now, my case is, is with you. I have obeyed you. Amen. Amen. So take several envelopes, stay with them. And them those who are making envelopes, make sure that the gummy is too much so that people can see that completely. Kanda wana mukora mavirope muzi ashire hano zihajije spradere hajije kudia bana baza ba shaku ifunga ne. And when you put your envelope, uh, tie it there. Kano mara kushira michezo. Write your name. Uje wande kama mazina ya. Your name here. Mazina ya we. You know there are some envelope which come they are tied which come actually me I put them they are there they don't have a name and so you write no name but I put this here you write no name. Now when I'm going to pray for such a person to pray God and pray for this person who has no name nameless. Because you never wrote your name, write your name very well with a good at writing. And write time and this. And then down there, there is a place you say, This is what I'm trusting God for. Yo utanki chachumi, ushiraho amazina yawe ugachiraho na no mubare, warangiza musara no bar fugango, ichiricho ni ze yimana. Ero harabanu bata shiraha mazina ukasanga, jegu senje rumunu defte vizina. You don't just go and dump your tide in the opening basket, you go as you trust in God. And as you trust in God, because you have obeyed God, the Bible says, God will open the windows of heaven. What does it mean? You are better than Daniel. Because Daniel prayed for 21 days, the prayer went to heaven. But the hazard was hidden. The ones that did not come to him because of the prince of Persia. So when the heaven is open, your body is like Jacob. Not Jacob. 
such that you see angels going, angels coming down. When the heaven is open, the angels will be working for you. God says when you pay your tithe, I shall open the, the windows of heaven. That's when you see somebody who was not anybody after knowing the revelation of paying the tithe, all of a sudden you start wondering who has, who has connected with this? He must have a connection. It's not a person. It is when the windows of heaven are open. You shall be blessed. And people shall know that you are blessed. Nation will call you the blessed. The moment you eat your tithe, you are telling God, God, leave the devourer with me. God, God, leave the windows of heaven closed. God, let people not call me the blessed. Hallelujah. Amen. We need to continue with giving. I will try to emphasize on giving until we all understand what is required of us. Amen. Amen. There is another one which is called prophetic, you know, seed. That is the seed which you put or rather you give because there is a prophecy which is attached to that seed. That gives you a prophetic blessing. Like the, the window we call, we see the Bible called the window of Sarifat. With the right With the right Go give me some water. No problem. No problem. Wait, 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 wait. Because until God asks you that which is beyond you, you not enjoy the blessings. Oh, it is possible to give me water. I have come back. Not water. Go and bring me a piece of cake. What? Bread? The way things are. Right now I'm correcting two sticks. I'm going to cook the last flour with the last oil. It doesn't matter. It is the last flour and the last oil. When you obey God, your last becomes your beginning. When you obey God, your last will become your beginning. This lady has already seen. We are eating the last supper. Hallelujah. The last supper was for Jesus. It is not for you. After you eat the last supper, you go. Jesus did that because he wanted to redeem us. He took the last supper. So the lady was saying, I'm taking the last supper. After this supper, me and my son, we are dead. So the lady was told by Raja. No problem. But there is a word. I want to tell somebody in this church. Whatever you are seeing and it's making you to fear, there is a word of God attached to that. But go beyond what you know. Go beyond what you think. Then it was done by Raja. Don't be afraid. Go. Go. Cook the first cake and you bring it because there is a command and I want to tell you until you understand when there is a command there is a command hallelujah Amen. there is a command my sister don't only say me I have nothing there is a command God is not looking at how much you give it is how much you obey what? How much you do what? Amen. Amen. I know some people, I certainly some people who are students here and I would be right. see them writing a type and they were very different type doing it. Type, name, type, and type was 200, 200 francs. Eh? You put 200. I tell you today they don't put 200. 200. 
ndabizi zuko bikora araba twatangiranye n'abanyeshuri akajya yandika amazina ye icyacumu gasanga icyacumu ni 200 ariko uyu munsi nako batanga icyacumu cy'a 200 they were faithful for writing the name bandikaga amazina yabo that's the thing i'm talking about uko niko kwizera ndo kuvuga you know past i don't want past to know that i'm paying 200 rand ntago uvuga ngo nako ashaka ko past aramenya ko ntanga icyacumu cy'a 200 are we together turi kumwe because from 200 kubera ko ushaka kuva kuri 200 that is a power ukabona imbaraga command that's an itegeko hallelujah Amen. Well, the time is gone. And we have to cruise. On Wednesday. If you can tell your neighbor, on Wednesday. On Wednesday. On Wednesday. On Wednesday. We are meeting here. Amen. Amen. We sound good. Amen. I've not been able to explore on all types of giving, and I'm not even able to go deep to each and every type the ways you do and the way God will work. Ntabwo nabashe gusobanura ubwo ko bwose bwo gutanga cyangwa se mvuge ukuntu Imana ikora iyo tanze. There was no rain. There was no rain that time due to the time of Elijah. Tujeje na mvura yari hari gice cyari. But the prophecy was. Ariko bantu zibari. Jua ja of flower and the pot of oil shall not cease to provide. Amen. I pray for you and jar of flour. I pray for the pot of your oil. Such that it will continue. Even without rain. God does not depend on rain to do your miracle. Without without rain, God is God. People are crying the things are expensive. Sivio. Yeah? I was told the other day, I was told sugar is expensive. How is it? Sugar is expensive. Even salt. That's a normal. Everything has gone up. You talk about cooking fat. Cooking fat. Cooking fat. Cooking oil. Rafuka it's a problem. I know the problem now. You require cooking oil and the other oil. The only oil which is not going up is the oil of the anointing. The other oils are going up. Cooking oil, the oil of the beast. Ladies, how do you survive now? How do you survive? How do you survive? Huh? It is. It's a wrong story. The story is wrong. But I want to make it short. You can hear the prophecy. And when you get the prophecy, you trust in God. And when you trust in God, by obeying God, the wrong story becomes a story. Hallelujah. Amen. I want us to pray now. In Jesus' name. Maybe you are here. And still you feel. I'm not worthy. I can't make it. I just can't make it. I feel I'm weak. I don't think I can be able to pay tithe or to give offerings or even to give the needy. You need to trust in God today. You tell the Lord, change my life. Thank you, Jesus. Let's all close our in the presence of the Lord. Jesus is around this place. Some people here have been given some funny reasonings and that has made you to feel like you don't have to give and whenever you want to give, you want so much to ask so many questions. But when you give, give unto the Lord. You are here, you are saying, I have not been faithful in my giving. My tithing, the way I give to the Ninde, I've not been faithful even in my offerings you don't have a particular amount you pay you, you give for the offering 
you just give what is available you have to trust God with some amount and God is a provider he will give you that which you trust him for you are here and you know you are one of the people who have been having issues with your giving until you are saying to, to God God I have made up my mind I'll be faithful to you and because I'll be faithful to you from this day I will pay what you have told me to obey if you are here you are in that category which find it too hard to give and the issues which are solved by you giving is one way that you can use to destroy the one who comes to destroy you giving your nepo you to fight against the devourer I want to pray with them those who are saying God from today I'll be faithful I want to pray with you. If you are here, just raise up, up your heart. Raise it up. You are saying from today, I will be faithful to God. In my offerings, in my tithing, giving the needy, I will be faithful. Just lift up your heart. Just lift it up. In Jesus' name. of trusting God. You are saying, I will not be unfaithful. Just stand on your feet. Jesus name. As you lift up both of your hands. Thank God because I can see people who don't want to pray hypocrisy in the church. Now as you lift up your hands. We are praying with you. And as we pray with you, this is a prayer of deliverance. Deliverance from where? From say from today. I will be faithful to God. In Jesus' name. And may God now as we pray give you a deeper revelation to understand the principles of tithing, the principles of offering. In Jesus' name. Father, in Jesus' name, we declare you are faithful. Now, as we stand on our feet, we surrender to you. The times we've not been faithful in our tithing and in our offerings. From this day, we are not going to rely on our own understanding but God we are going to plant the seed we are going to pay the tithe we are going to give the offerings and as we do that your name is going to be glorified all these people stand before your presence and declare total deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus that from this day they shall be able to prove to you through their givings that they love you and in the name of Jesus I I declare from this moment the lives of each one of us who is gathered here is going to be transformed. We shall keep without complaining. We shall keep without murmuring. We shall faithful and give. We shall give cheerfully. Hallelujah. Amen. Father in Jesus' name, from this moment because these people have been faithful to say they are, they are going to start a new life with you. 
May you open their windows, open their doors, enable them, God Almighty, to see the gates which are crossed being opened. And from this day, I declare, Father, in Jesus' name, they are going to be faithful to your work, to your house and also to the needy. Be the provider to each one of us now. Jehovah, we want to thank you. We want to worship you. We thank you, Father, because from this day, the devourer is defeated in our lives. Hallelujah. Now, if you see some traces of things which are happening against you, which are not normal things, in the name of Jesus, I want to declare from this moment, we are stopping those things. Anything that stands for uh, something which is happening in our life, which is trying to pull you down, something which is happening in our life, which is trying to destroy which God has given you, we want to take authority against it now. And in the name of Jesus, I want to pray for each one of us in this church. In the mighty name of Jesus, God Almighty, you are the supplier of our needs in accordance to your riches in glory. I pray, Father, each one of us who is gathered here we shall witness your surprise in accordance to your riches in glory. May you supply everlasting redeemer. My the Father, let there be a surprise to every man here, to every mother, to the young people, to the teenagers, to each and every person who is here. I declare the supply now in accordance to your riches in glory. We declare poverty as no power over the lives of these people. We thank you, Lord. Mighty Father, we repent the times we've not been faithful. And from this day, we make a commitment. We shall be faithful. In Jesus' name, amen.